Have you heard of Abdullah? Yes, yes I have. He is December on my Men of Archaeology calendar. You're kidding me. Does that exist? It existed the second I made it. Is he there with you? Yes. He seems full of himself. He is? Oh, I am not an advocate of pulpy romance novels. But if I were, I'd call that an archibald trait. In chapter one, he'd swagger into the excavation site, the picture of a rascal with his dusty leather jacket and decidedly European haircut. His cocky ne'er-do-well smirk displaying his perfectly white teeth. But by the end, he'd be sweetly holding flowers and saying, Professor Hotchkiss, I'm dying to discuss your latest publication. A colleague of mine has guilted me into editing her latest romance novel, and I must confess I cannot wait until the project is completed. Reading page after page is absolutely wreaking havoc on my metaphors. Anyway, what were we talking about? I no longer know. Abdullah, that's what. He's a cold-blooded hotshot with only one setting. Success. Oh, sorry. I've also been helping my nephew break into the movie trailer business. Oh, Hotchkiss, why must you always burn the candle at both ends? He's a good archaeologist who knows Egypt inside and out. He could teach you a thing or two, just don't pick up the attitude. Lily seems to be taking this curse business very seriously. I thought you were Lily. <sighs> the other Lily? Hotchkiss prank! Oh, you're such a good sport, Nadine. <laughs> That's a little silly of her, don't you think? Curses may only be a figment of our overactive imaginations. That's what I think. There are more pressing things to worry about. Most Egyptologists die because the desert is inhospitable and positively crawling with diseases. Horrid molds and bacteria that have been breeding for thousands of years unchecked. And let's not forget the lack of structural integrity of most of the tombs. That's less than reassuring. Oh dear, everybody dies, but life isn't worth living if you don't take a few risks. Although I guess I should stress that everyone dies much faster in the desert. Much, much faster. I need your help. The hieroglyphs here don't make sense. Then you are in for a treat. I like my puzzles as tempting as the gooseberry pie from San Rios in Little Brazil, and as complex as the ginger lime sauce they lovingly smother it in. You should focus on what doesn't make sense. Look for a part of the pattern that has no earthly business being there. See ya. Bye, dear. Nancy, hello. Abdullah seems confused by the hieroglyphs in the tomb. Really? You sound surprised. <laughs> Astonished, dumbfounded, with a twist of smug thrown in to soothe my ego. So, if he's confused... Then it is confusing. He's one of the brightest minds in the field. If he's stumped, something unique is going on here. Lily seemed upset about me doing any work here. <laughs> Show me a PhD student who isn't upset about something, and I'll build you your very own pyramid. Why would she want to keep me away from your work? I have no clue. If she wants to play at being in charge, let her. It'll save you a lot of headaches. What do you know about Lily? Not much. She's with Abdullah's team. It's just strange that she's out there. Why? I never say a critical word about a student, but uh, the archaeology community is small, people talk. <laughs> I guess all I'm going to say is it's surprising Abdullah put her on his team. You can't just leave it at that. The curiosity center of my brain is going to go into full meltdown. I can't, Nancy. It wouldn't be appropriate for me to talk about it. What do you know about Abdullah? Mm, he's almost as brilliant as he thinks he is. He seems a little full of himself. <laughs> a little? With that amount of swagger, you'd think he invented sand. Do you think he's behind your attack? Uh, I don't think so. This isn't the first time we butted heads. I'd think that if he were to attack me, he wouldn't sneak up from behind. How's the recovery coming? Good. I am at the point where watching television is tedious again, so that's a good sign. TV is very frustrating for the solution-oriented personality. I don't think I've heard that before. It's true. I find myself yelling, test your hypothesis before acting on it at all of the sitcoms. Truthfully, 
I'm still feeling a little woozy. As soon as I can stand without feeling dizzy, I am on my way back to the site. Even if I have to sneak out of here. Goodbye. Talk to you later. Hi, Bess. Nancy! How goes the old mummy hunt? Good, I think. Maybe bad. Something happened, didn't it? There was a sandstorm, and the professor from Kingston had to be taken to the hospital. Nancy, be careful out there. It sounds dangerous. I will. George is all wrapped up in that new job of hers. But you can call me anytime you need help. Full disclosure, while I do play an Egyptologist on television, I have no idea what I'm talking about. We found the tomb! Way to go! But when I opened it, two strangers showed up. Really? Aren't you in the middle of nowhere? Yes. Okay, so maybe they were just out for a walk. In the desert. Nope. Doesn't work out. Nancy, what the craziness is happening out there? No clue. It's like I'm the only one here who doesn't know what's really going on. I don't like that feeling. You get used to it. Bess. Well, it certainly feels that way. Maybe it's time to call this one a wrap. I can't until John's back. I just need to keep my head on straight and try to keep the site in order. That's exactly like this one part of Revenge of the Desert Queen. So everybody... Is this going to be an anecdote where someone dies in a cursed tomb? No. Okay, continue. I lied, it was. But I'll just keep it to myself. Lily seems very uptight. Do you think she's hiding something? No doubt about it. I just don't know if it's relevant. Strange behavior is rarely irrelevant, especially in a group that isolated. <laughs> Good point. I don't know what to make of this tour guide who appeared out of nowhere. Is he cute? Define cute. Why is this never any fun with you? I have no girly friends. Fine, yes, he's moderately cute. And he has an accent. Now we're talking. Anyway, you've decided that this cute tour guide with an accent is a problem for some reason? His story isn't adding up. If he's a tour guide, why would he show up at a site that might take years to open up to the public? Maybe he's some sort of avant-garde tour guide. You know, way ahead of his time, like that jazz musician you made us see who only played awful notes? I'm still sorry about that. In my defense, it was for a case. And in his defense, there's nothing. Long distance burn, jazz guy. Bye. See ya. The sandstorm did not scare you away. It'll take more than a little sandstorm to get me to leave. Shh. Do not tempt the Anunnaki. The what? I should not have even spoken their name. Disregard that. <laughs> I didn't mean to say Anunnaki. Blast! I said it again, didn't I? I'm Jamila, by the way. But if anyone asks, you haven't seen me. Why are you here? Well, I can't exactly be there, now can I? That would make no sense. Are you worried about the curse? Who could be worried about a curse at a time like this? A time like what? The Makers. The original architects. They're watching. Who are you talking about? Nancy. They can't hear you. You do not have to pretend. I'm not pretending. What are you talking about? How could you not know? This is the cradle of civilization. Right. Here we were born. And like all infants, this is where we were taught. Taught what? To be human. We didn't just figure that out. But for millennia we lived in caves, terrified of the very earth, of fire and wind and lightning. We cowered and dug down into the earth. But one thing of all humans, we are curious. One night, our ancestors saw the sky catch fire, and the brave ones left their caves and walked into the light. And there they met the Anu... the teachers. I don't follow. They brought us to the next level of consciousness, and in return we built them the pyramids. Well, that makes sense. It does? You didn't expect me to agree. Most people take a little convincing. What do you think of Abdullah? Not much. 
He talks always like there is an audience near, but what audience would listen to such a tedious man? I say let him think he's in charge if it makes him happy. You don't think he should be in charge? I don't think he's capable of being in charge. He doesn't even believe in the Anunnaki. If we built the pyramids with the aliens, why did they all just leave? Oh, they didn't leave. They're all around us. Do you want me to call them? No. Oh, well, that's a shame. They're an amazing sight. They're slender and tall, and they have the most gorgeous, glowing, luminescent fangs. When did you become so interested in aliens? Sunny June. I took his Are You Alien or Ali Out course. Changed my life. Did you know that aliens were there at every major human milestone, with the exception of the moon landing? All right, I'll bite. Why? Because it was a rude thing to do, and they wanted no part of it. What do you think of Dylan? The tour guide? Yeah. Did I have to have an opinion of him? I guess not. Oh good, that's a relief. Who is Sunny June? I've seen his name everywhere, but we've never met. I can't explain it all to you, not now. He's special. He's met them. Met whom? You don't make this easy, do you? To be fair, neither do you. True. The Anunnaki. He's spoken to them. He knows that they're on their way. I'd better get going. Bye. Great. I just need to find a way to get it working. I need to light the oil.
part of John's notes are missing. That doesn't seem right. Can't check that off yet. Did that. Still have to do that. Did that. That's done. Check. Check. Hi. Are you familiar with the Anunnaki? Oh, please, not you too. No, Jamila. She's got a lot to say on the topic. Uh, good. I'm not saying there isn't alien life, but why insist that aliens built the pyramids? Humans have made a mess of so many things. Just let us keep that check mark in the victory column. I'd better get going. Talk to you later. I wonder if I could find a way to light the entire room. I could translate that. That's not good. Now I have to know what the rest says. That's not good. I bet I could translate that. It looks like something is missing. too heavy. If I could make some sort of lever, I bet I could use that hole and open the coffin. What was that? It sounds like it came from the entrance. Yes? That was a close call with the scaffolding. I've seen worse. Twenty years ago, we were in a tomb, a minor site. A guy, much like your boy Thielen, kicked over a support beam and crash! It all came down. Seven of us, trapped under stones, big as automobiles. What happened? Five of us were eventually pulled out. What happened to the other two? What do you think happened? Do you think this has anything to do with the curse? Does it matter? Do you believe in the curse? Of course. Really? Then aren't you worried about being here? No, no, no. I am Abdullah Bakum. Curses have no power over me. What makes you so sure of that? I'm still alive. Many men cannot say the same thing. The true power of a curse, it lives here. What do you mean by that? <laughs> the curse of Antifi warns. Any man who enters my tomb, I will cast the fear of myself into him. I went into that tomb. And? And I knew the fear of Antifi. A curse when it has you is like a strange sickness, a fever, and it never goes away. But I thought you didn't believe in curses. 
No, I said curses have no effect on me. I am strong. Everyone else is a different story. Look at Lily and see what I mean. What do you think of Jamila? What is to think? She believes aliens built the pyramids. She is a waste of my time. So I take it you don't believe in aliens? Let me stop you there. Normally when people say that, they have more to say. I do not. If you do not have enough faith in humans to believe that we invented pushing, dragging, and lifting without the help of aliens, you are terminally wrong and incredibly stupid. We will never agree on anything. Are you okay with her staying here? <laughs> no. Get out of my sight! You do not own this temple! Leave now or I will remove you myself! I'd like to see you try. She sure seems determined to stay. I bet I could translate that. Bad job, Tomb. That doesn't even make sense. I need to translate the hieroglyphs. Nefertari! Could this be true? Hi, Nancy. I'll catch you later. Bye. Hi. Have you heard of the theory that aliens built the pyramids? Oh, that old gem. Yes, who cares? Who cares? Well, unless they're sending us a bill, does it matter? With all of your work, I assume you'd at least care. Oh, no, dear. You mustn't let those things bother you. Some of us have keen observational skills and a rigid adherence to the scientific method. And some of us have thought processes that best resemble a piñata explosion at a sugar-fueled child's birthday extravaganza. Either way, if it encourages people to witness the marvels of ancient Egypt in person, it's good work, in my opinion. Can you help me sort out some canopic jars? Oh my! Oh, oh my, yes, let's see. A human and three animals. A jackal was Duwamatef, baboon, hoppy, and Kebasenuef. They also represented the four cardinal points, each protecting a sacred organ. I seem to remember that Hoppy was the lungs. I'll let you go. Goodbye. Hi, Nancy. You said you studied curses. Aren't they just mostly hoaxes? No, far from it. There's always a scientific reason for what really happened. But if you get some deadly disease or the world collapses on you, you're not going to care about the biology or physics of what's killing you. What do you think about Dylan? Did we accidentally invite the whole world to this dig? With the exception of a decent work crew, that is. Although I do hate that I don't know why he is here, he is definitely easy on the eyes. Agreed. But if he stays out in the sun any longer, he's going to get all lobstery. Definite turnoff for us land dwellers. See ya. Bye. Check. <laughs>